This is a quick video over probability. Probability. I bet you already have a really good idea what probability is. Ability. And I, and I tend to think of probability as how likely is something. How likely. So if I was to ask you to flip a coin, to flip a coin, and most coins have a head side and a tail side. Tail. So if I asked you to flip a coin, flip a coin, and I ask you, what's the probability, and we just write P, and then a bracket, then head, or just H for head, what's the probability of heads landing facing up? So, what's the probability of heads facing up? Well, we want one outcome, we want this one outcome, heads facing up, out of a possible two outcomes. There are two outcomes. Outcomes. It could be either heads facing up or tails facing up, so there are two outcomes. So the probability is 1 in 2, or simply 50%. And the same is true if I asked you what's the probability of tails landing heads up. The probability of tails landing heads up is 1 out of 2, where we want this one outcome out of the possible two outcomes. So it is also 50%. So now let's jump to something that's kind of the same, and that is kids. Kids. If you have kids, the probability of having a boy is 50%. So boy, and we're just going to write B for boy, and the probability of having a girl is also 50, 50%. So it's almost the equivalent of flipping a coin. So if you had a child, and your first child, first child could be either a boy, a boy, or a girl, a girl, girl. So the probability of you having a boy, or let's do girl, a girl is one out of the two outcomes. So you want a girl, and there are two outcomes. You can have either a boy or a girl. So the probability of having a girl is one out of two. Now let's say you have another child. So if you had a boy first, you would have a probability of having another boy. And if you had a girl, you would also have a probability of having a boy. And the same would be true for girls. So if you had a boy first, you have the probability of having a boy or girl. Boy or girl. Whoops. Boy or girl. So now, what's the probability Probability of having a girl and then another girl? Whoops. Girl. Well, let's see. That's one outcome. That's this outcome out of a total of four outcomes. Then there is the outcome of having a girl, then boy. Then there's the outcome of having a boy and boy. And the outcome of having a boy and girl. So there are a total of one, two, three, four outcomes. So the probability of having a girl and girl is one in four. Now, if we did a little bit of math, we would see that one half, or the probability of having the first girl, having your first kid be a girl, is one half. And then the probability of having your second child being a girl is one half. So the probability of having two girls is just equal to the first probability of having a girl times the second probability of having a girl, which is just one in four. And we can actually do this for bigger things. Let's say, what's the probability of having a girl, then a girl, and then another girl? So then, I don't know if I can draw this many kids, but you'd have a boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. So now you have a girl, and you can also have a girl here, a girl, and a girl, and then we just got to add in our boys, boys, and we'll just do this for all of them. Well, it's kind of messed up there, but oh well. All right, so what's the probability of having, of having a girl, so we're going to start off with a girl, then having another girl, and then having a girl at the end. So this is the outcome, this one outcome. So we have one outcome of a possible, so we have this outcome. Then we have a boy, boy, girl. We have boy, girl, boy. Boy, girl, girl. Girl, boy, girl. Girl, boy, boy. Girl, girl, girl. And girl, girl, boy. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are a total of eight outcomes. Eight outcomes. So the probability of having a girl is one in eight. Now let's do that math-wise. 
So what's the probability of having your first girl? First girl. Well, that's just 1 and 2. What's the probability of having your second girl? Well, that's just 1 and 2. What's the probability of having your third girl? Third girl? Well, that's just, again, 1 and 2. So the total probability of having three girls in a row is 1 and 8. 1 and 8. So all we had to do was multiply the probability of having the first child be a girl times the second child being a girl times the third child being a girl. Now let's do this for having maybe a boy. So let's say a boy, girl, boy. So what's the probability of having your first child be a boy? Well, that's 1 out of 2. What's the probability of having a girl? That's just 1 out of 2. Probability of having a boy? Well, that's 1 out of 2. Again, that's 1 out of 8. So probability of having your first child be a boy. So we'll go right here, then a girl, down, and then a boy. And we see that that is one outcome. That is one outcome. The probability of having a boy, girl, boy is one outcome out of eight. Now let's do something a little bit different. What's the probability of just having probability of just having two girls, two girls, and and one boy. One boy. So two girls. Well, well, this is getting a little messy, but first we're going to have a boy, then a girl, and then a girl. Or we could have a girl, a boy, and a girl. Or we could have a girl, girl, boy. So we have, we have a total of three outcomes. Three outcomes out of a total of eight. So the probability of having two girls and one boy, and order doesn't matter, assuming order doesn't matter, is 3 out of 8. And I'll actually show you a neat little trick in the next video about how we can actually calculate this without having to draw out this, this, well, I mean this messy, this messy uh, set of lines. So I will do that in the next video. See you there.